fusion music has a tendency to go a little bit out. Eric Gale used to call it confusion. <laughs> rather than fusion. Uh, when they start putting things on the, on the term of like acid jazz, it was just another term for fusion. Mm -hmm. uh, jazz with a, with a dance groove. You know, as time has gone by, these, you know, like I, because I guess of my age, but people were dancing to jazz from the very, very beginning. Yeah. And it was jazz, you know, they were lending, mm -hmm. doing the lending, or jitterbug, you know, whatever it was. Uh, this is good stuff. Ezra Pound once said that music begins to atrophy when it's too far removed from dance. He's a great famous poet, by the way. Actually, the full quote was, poet, poetry begins to atrophy when it's too far removed from music. And music begins to atrophy when it's too far removed from dance. So you were just making a point uh, about jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, it was dance music. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Before it was getting all these other esoteric labels. All these esoteric names that they give music really becomes confused, confused when it comes to people like you and I who have to describe uh, and explain certain genres of music. It's almost like Latin music. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing sessions where I've been the one in charge, I'm the producer, where I hired the guys and say, okay, let's make this Latin. Mm -hmm. Then you got the educated musicians sitting there wondering, what kind of Latin do you want? Yeah. And so my New York 